Hello and welcome. Physics simulations are a powerful tools that enables us to study and analyze complex physical systems. By solving the governing equations of these simulations, which most of the times are PDEs, a partial differential equations, which are, which are a mathematical equations that describe the relations between the various physical quantities in a system such as time, space, temperature, velocity, and pressure. The usual way of solving these uh, PDEs is a numerical solution. And using, num using numerical solution uh, to solve them would uh, involve dividing the physical domain into a grid or mesh and approximating these PDEs with a discretized uh, equation. To understand how to solve these PDEs, let's take the heat equation, in which we will start solving it uh, using numerical simulations, and later we want to understand how to solve it using deep neural networks. The heat equation is a partial differential equation that describes the fusion of heat in a given domain over time. It is commonly used to model the behavior of temperature distribution in various physical systems. The general form of the equation is this, in which du over dt represents the rate of change of temperature with respect to time. Alpha is a thermal diffusivity, a material-specific prob property that governs how heat spread into the medium. D, the second derivative of u over dx represent the second derivative of temperature over or with respect to the spatial coordinate x. Let's take a rod. The rod have a part that has a high temperature and a part that has a lower temperature. The continuous PDE are approximated by dividing the physical domain into a grid or mesh. The, me the domain is discretized in both space and time, creating a set of discrete points or elements where the physical quantities will be calculated. After discretizing the equations, uh, it will be solved using finite difference method. We solve the discrete equations over time till we get the final temperature distribution. This is how we get the answer using numerical methods. Now, how to get the answer using deep neural networks? To get the answer, we need to apply PENS technology. So what is PENS technology? PENS or physics informed neural networks are a class of machine learning method that combines the expressive power of neural network with the physics principle described by the partial differential equations. So, these methods aim to learn the underlying physics of the system di directly from the data with respecting the known physical laws in 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 included in the PDEs. Uh, or partial differential equations. To solve the heat equation with, the, well, basically a deep neural network, we will have the neural network with an input of space and time, and then we will have some hidden layer in between. These hidden layers will be connected to the output, which is the thing we're trying to um, predict, which in our case, the temperature or U, and this u will be uh, we will compare between the data if we have the actual result if we have or if we don't have this exact u what we will compare is u with the neural network uh, or the initial value of uh, u and this uh, u has to be minimized this is what we call the uh, the data loss and the other loss that we need to reduce is basically the physics uh, 
loss or the PDE uh, loss that came from the physics itself, which is the derivation of U with time and the derivation of U with well, the second derivation of U with uh, with the space X. In the heat equation, we don't have the uh, derivation of U with X. Once we have these two losses, we will keep updating these uh, or this neural network in order to reduce as much as possible the total loss. Doing this, we will get the answer that we want in which the answer will be a diffusion between uh, like starting from a high temperature here and low temperature here and the temperature will be diffused as time goes on uh, as we can see behind me so hope you enjoyed this uh, video about how to solve PDEs using numerical and deep neural networks.